Will Ava Jerome put Carly in her place? General hospital spoilers for August 1, 2023, revealed dramatic confrontations, sneaking suspicions, major decisions, and so much more. You won't want to miss a moment of this intriguing new episode. Carly, Laura Wright, cannot imagine why Avery, Ava, and Grace Garola seems to need a new nanny despite the incident with Pilar in the park. She also doesn't know why Sunny, Morris Bernard, and Ava, Mara West, seem to be doing something that she is not privy to. After all, Sunny asked if Avery could sleep over, so that means she has to know everything. When Ava stops by Carly's kitchen, she sure gets an earful as Carly accuses her of being up to her old tricks without knowing anything about what is really going on. Will Ava tell her the truth, that she is Avery's mother and the nanny situation is none of her business? Perhaps Ava should report Carly's activities to Sunny so he can calm her down. GH spoilers say that Dante, Dominic Zampragna, makes his case. He certainly has a lot of convincing he needs to do. He needs to get Cody, Josh Kelly, to do the right thing by both Sasha, Sophia Matson, and Mac, John J. York, and spill his secrets, but he also has his father and Anna, Finola Hughes, to think about. Does he ask Anna not to use herself as bait to lure out the shooter, or does he ask Sunny not to go along with her plan? Perhaps he makes a case as to why he thinks the WSB seems like the most likely suspect. After not knowing what to do about her fertility issues and whether she should use other means to become a mom, Molly, Brooke, Anna Smith, and TJ, Taj Bello, finally reach a decision on prospective parenthood. Christina, Kate Mansi, is also set to receive some reassurances on Tuesday. Will they be about her new youth center or her proposal to be a surrogate and egg donor for her sister and her partner? Cyrus Renault didn't do well when Book attacked him. The General Hospital recap for July 31, 2023 features Drew coming to Cyrus's rescue, but it might be too late. In this episode, a fight broke out at Pentonville with Drew and Cyrus in the middle of it. Sunny and Anna had dinner and drinks and theorized about the pool shooter. Alexis had a long talk with Molly about motherhood and surrogacy, while Christina asked Michael for help with her youth center. Finally, Tracy became concerned about Gregory's health. Now let's dig a little deeper into the details. As Cyrus, Jeff Kober, was reading the Bible in the Pentonville Library, Book grabbed him and had him up against a wall to try to choke him. Drew, Cameron Matheson, walked in and put a stop to things, knocking out Book in the blink of an eye. Too bad Book woke quickly and grabbed a knife from his sock. A brawl ensued but when he was being taken to solitary, Drew noticed that Cyrus seemed to be having a heart attack and convinced the guards to let him help him. Drew claimed he knew what he was doing because he was a Navy SEAL, but that didn't stop Cyrus from passing out and looking like he was headed towards the light. Felicia, Christina Wagner, and Lucy. Lynn Herring discussed the face of deception situation as they worried about both Sasha, Sophia Matson, and Cody, Josh Kelly. Lucy was sure that Sasha's life was back on track and didn't understand what happened. Lucy was also curious about what else Marty, Michael E. Knight, might be hiding and deduced that he may be more greedy than his last ex-wife since she is the one paying him alimony. She also finally figured out why Marty refuses to marry her. When Marty showed up, he and Lucy discussed how he needed money to take care of his mother since Cyrus was no help. Sonny, Morris Bernard and Anna, Finola Hughes, sat down for a meal at the Metro Court to once again discuss which one was the target of the pool shooter. Anna confessed she hadn't yet told Valentine, James Patrick Stewart, what happened. Sonny tried to convince Anna not to use herself as bait to find the shooter, but she just wanted him to keep his guard away from her house. They soon began talking about Sonny's history of criminality, and Anna admitted she was impressed at how easily Sonny managed to get away with it. Sonny was flattered and compared himself to Tony Soprano. When they started talking about the shooting again, Sonny wondered if the bullet could have been meant for him. He soon brought up the Pikeman group and Anna immediately told him to not have anything to do with them. Alexis, Nancy Lee Gran, dropped by to check on Christina, Kate Monsey, and they were very excited to talk about her stuffed pomi. Molly, Brooke and Smith, was just sad because she wouldn't have the same type of mother-child memories that Alexis, Nancy Lee Gran has. She admitted she definitely wants children. 
She just wasn't sure how she was going to go about it. However, the idea of making Christina the egg donor and surrogate sounded more appealing. Too bad Alexis saw more cons to the idea than pros. She was worried about how being a surrogate would affect Christina, and wondered if she'd be able to detach from the baby once it was born. Christina wanted to know why Michael, Chad Duell, was always such a bastard to Nina, Cynthia Watros, so he asked her why she was so nice to Mina. Christina explained that although their family was hurt by what she did in Nixon Falls, she pointed out that they are engaged and Nina was now a part of their family whether Michael liked it or not. The subject soon turned to Christina's LGBT teen shelter, and she needed Michael's business expertise to help guide her. She asked him to be on the board of directors, and Michael accepted. He even encouraged her to accept more help from Sonny. Finally, Tracy and Gregory ended up in a metro court elevator together, where Gregory mansplained manners to Tracy. When Gregory learned Monica stood Tracy up for dinner, he invited her to join him. They even had a pleasant conversation about dogs, but his hand shook when Gregory went to pay for the check. This alarmed Tracy, so she called Alexis with her concerns when Gregory was gone. Remember, Carly Spencer didn't make a promise to be nice to Mama. General Hospital spoilers for July 27, 2023, reveal a dramatic encounter, new life decisions, disturbing news, and so much more. You won't want to miss a moment of this emotional new episode. It's been a while since Carly, Laura Wright, and Nina, Cynthia Watros, have come face to face and a lot has changed in their lives. Nina is now a part of Willow's, Ketlin McMullen, family and friends bubble, and Carly is now the owner of a diner she intends to turn into something big. Nina has also promised Willow that she would let go of her vendetta against Carly and be nice to her. Carly did not have to make such a promise because Willow didn't ask this of Carly. Will Nina be able to control herself if Carly gets nasty with her, or will she try to be the better person in this scenario? While Maxi, Kirsten Storms, seriously considers a new place to live, she remains concerned with Sasha, Sophia Matson, and how her mental state devolved so quickly. Gladys, Bonnie Burrows, is on hand to deliver bad news. Does she have an update for poor Sasha at Ferncliff? Does she tell Maxi things are worse than they imagined, or does Gladys deliver bad news to Selena Wu, Lydia Look? Perhaps she doesn't have a way to get Selena the money she owes her, which would definitely be bad news for Gladys Portia. Brooke Kerr remains a mess about Curtis's, Donald Turner, paralysis, and his desire to push her away. She doesn't know how things could have all fallen apart so fast. Portia opens up to Elizabeth, Rebecca Herbst, about all she has been feeling, Jay spoilers say that Finn, Michael Easton, offers counsel. Does he have some advice for Curtis, a man who needs a friendly medical professional to talk to who is not a member of his family?